In this tutorial, I will show you how to make an inverter for fluorescent lamps. This is the schematic. The only component that we have to make is the transformer, which has a ferrite core and three coils, a 60 turn primary, a 450 turn secondary, and a 13 turns feedback coil. The fluorescent tube connects to the secondary and the power is controlled with a potentiometer. In order to make the transformer, we need a ferrite core. You can get one from an old AM radio. Here you have the ferrite core, it is part of the antenna. Before winding, you need to put some tape on the ferrite core. We need to wind the secondary coil first. Take your magnet wire, size 30 AWG, and start winding at a distance of 1 cm from the end of the ferrite. Try to make your turns as close as you can and without overlapping. The first layer of the coil is ready. To avoid unwinding of the wire, you can use super glue. After the fifth layer is ready, use more tape and wind your second layer and so on until you finish the 450 turns. The secondary coil is ready. As a reference, let me check what is the resistance of the secondary. And we can see that it's about 6.5 ohms. Let me now check the inductance. And inductance is 11.5 milliamps. We now need to wind the primary coil. So put more tape and wind 60 turns of magnet wire size 28 AWG. Once the primary is ready, we just need to wind the feedback coil. So put tape again and wind 13 turns of magnet wire size 28. Okay, the transformer is ready. You can put more tape to protect the feedback coil. Here is our inverter for fluorescent lamps. You can see the transformer. Here we have the feedback coil and this and this other wire are the primary coil and these two are the output from the secondary which is the high voltage output and goes to the lamp and connections for the input voltage. When CFL lamps like this fail, normally the bulb is still in good condition and what is broken or burned is the circuit inside the lamp. So we can recycle them and use our inverter to power the bulb. When you open the lamp, you can see that the bulb has four connections, two at each side, and what you will do is to join the two wires from each side together, and then connect the lamp to the output of the inverter, to the secondary of the transformer. I'm going to power the circuit with 8.5 volts, which is enough for this, this lamp. And let me turn the potentiometer. There you have it, the CFL lamp 
is working with our inverter. Let's try now with this other type of fluorescent lamp. This is larger than our former lamp, but is actually of smaller power. This CFL lamp is 23 watts and the tube is 17 watts. So let's power it with 8.5 volts input. And let's see, there you have it. And with this circuit, you can use an input voltage of uh, up to 12 volts, approximately. So there you have it, a simple inverter for fluorescent lamps.